Christian and today is Tipitina time. It's original in F. Um, I'll make a couple of suggestions in the beginning for simplifications of some parts. That makes the whole thing much more playable for also not so advanced. But then from chorus 1 to chorus 3 um, it's authentic and um, for the advance to get um, uh, all the details, I promised. Learn it and enjoy it. Wishing you a lot of fun. Bye bye wherever you are. The intro of Tripitina is quite tricky in its original. And um, we don't have to play it like in what the notes are telling us because if you listen to him, he's playing it very freely. It says also, rubato, choose your tempo freely. And that's what we do for our own needs. We play it slowly. So I play this, uh, uh, the intro. Counting is really no point here. No necess necessity for me to explain anything. You can play it anyhow, roughly like I play it. Just this roll and then grab as fast as you can the octave. And now we count in one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and so on. Um, <clears throat> things to practice before you start. Um, the most essential bit is the central key, uh, central lick of Tipitina that is um, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and because the same comes on B just like that one and two and three and four and one manage this until you can um, play it like this for you yes so you have this difficult slide one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you can simplify that a little bit just by leaving out the slide one and two and three and four and one and two so Tipitina has a um, a couple of repeating elements that we don't have to uh, practice new every chorus and it's like uh, we have an upbeat that's on F and now we have the same for B so which is identical in the structure uh, I played here Because the difference here is just just one rhythmic beat more one and 
so the differences are just tiny. If you want to play original Professor Longhair, then you do the tiny bit. Look at it. So um, we have a looking at it now for the second four bars. That thing that we can repeat exactly like the first chorus if we want to. If we don't want to, we go for the detailed differences. And this is we are starting here with B, with the upbeat of B. the upbeat to the next like, chord. Uh, B. was the upbeat to the second time of the first chorus. So we could easily have not only three, but if you repeat the first um, chorus, we have um, even four choruses. Um, and it's a, it's a motion from the wrist again, and this is getting, this is your target note. And it has a sound really. It's not a funeral song, no? Same count goes for these. You will see a bit later. Rook finger settings all the same. Okay. One and two and three and four and one. Now look at my hand, left one. Verse two, Tipitina. <clears throat> one and two and three and four and one and two. And here is the, I find a little bit the hardest thing to teach over um, YouTube is um, because we are changing the feeling for just one bar. We're coming on with one and so this triplet in the right hand, one and a la da 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 da, that triplets over each fourth, one and two 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 three 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 four 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 one, and uh, so the left will automatically adjust here and be a swingy left hand, 
when it was all the time a straight left hand. So it becomes one and two and three and four and one. You see? So. And you have to find immediately um, uh, your way back to straight. So Mr. Longhair is making our life a bit harder through this. It's in the fourth chorus. We have a look. It's a 16 structure, but with a, a deceiving three uh, note figure over the 16th pattern. It's this one and it's always three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. In the hands it's one two three but it's sixteenth underneath see one and two to and two, three to and two, four to and two, one and two and three and four and again one and two to and two, three to and two, four to and two, one so the it, thing happens again it starts with one and And that is when we go to B. He's playing up downwards now. These notes, it's always octaves. And on the one, you're on the B. So, second thing is one and two to and two, three to and two, four to and two, one and two to the little bam bam. And then we come to. These are uh, octaves going from F and then to F. So the whole thing would be And as a finish after the last chorus, which is the one with the 16th thing, that's the last chorus, I would suggest you play the theme once more. Um, so you're coming on. Um, and then. Then you just play again the five. And again.
go down in tempo in the end and just repeat the last harmonies three times, uh, which is a, a very customary thing. And the whole thing as one, without the intro. <laughs> Second time, one octave higher, then come the choruses. Um. Thank you. 